okay so hello guys welcome back to the new video so in this video we're gonna make this react app using the react js okay so this is the to do app and uh, which we're gonna make by using the latest react js okay so let me show the demonstration of this app if i add here something and uh, let me add here so, so it will be added below in the list and uh, suppose i add uh, something more and something more so it will be automatically added in the list and i can uh here make this checked and unchecked okay so it will show this line for all the uh, successful works okay so if i go here it will uh, remove the uh, it will re uh, uh, it will remove it from the list and uh, suppose i add some more and uh, let's add some more to do's here and when i add more to do's let's go to here clear all and it will remove all the to do's from the list suppose uh, if i add something to do here more and if i uh, refresh the page so they will stay here for long okay so they are uh, stored in the local storage okay so if i refresh the page again it will be stored here so suppose i re uh, remove a list from here and if i uh, and if i refresh it again it will stay in the list okay so it is storing the local storage okay so let's start the video and uh, and uh, i'm gonna make this from scratch okay so for making this we have to open a new folder so let's open a new folder and uh, we're gonna install a new react app there okay so let me choose a folder okay so here open the folder with your vs code you can use whatever vs uh, whatever code editor you want like sublime text or whatever you want i am gonna use the vs code editor okay so after that we have to go to the google and we have to search here uh, new react app using white so when you search here it will show you the first link so go to the first link and from here you have to copy this code of npm just copy the code and uh, let me okay just copy the code and open here new like this and just paste the code here okay so after pasting the code it will ask uh, for you the project name so suppose we're gonna write here react to do app okay so enter so it will ask for the so here choose the react and after that choose the javascript plus swc and uh, it is installed uh, now we have to go to the cd react to do app okay so you can go here or if you just close this window and uh, go to this folder and open this folder in and open this folder in the vs code again okay so we are here now we have to go to the here again and uh, let's close this and from here right here npm install okay so it will install all the dependencies in the white.config.js file okay so let's wait for it to so let's wait for it to install and after that we're gonna make the structure of this uh, app first uh, we're gonna make the ui first and then we're gonna style it with the css and after that we're gonna add the javascript for the working of this app okay so it takes some time to install so i'll be back when it's ready to start okay so it is installed so let me go here and i'm gonna write here cls then write here npm run dev so it will open our react time in a new window of the google chrome so just to go here and follow the link and it will open the new react app okay okay so this is open so now what we have to do okay so let me do one thing uh, let me open the previous app and i'm gonna take the screenshot of the app because it is not showing me Okay, so okay so let's go to here and uh, 
okay let's write here npm run dev okay so our react app is open now Okay, so it is opening in the same uh, uh, local server. That's why it is refreshing here. Okay, so we don't wanna uh, refresh this page. Okay, so let me get back to this, our old folder and from here we have to go to the, and from here we have to go to the public folder and uh, inside the SRC folder and from here go to the app.css and uh, remove all the files from here, then go to the app.jsx, remove all the files from here, index. Uh, CSS also remove all the files. Then we don't want to do some uh, anything here. Okay, so let me go to the app dot. Uh, so let's go to the app dot JSX file and uh, we're gonna add here RAFC. So it will give me a boilerplate of the React. Okay, so now we have to add a CSS file. So let let me do one thing. Uh, I'm gonna make a component folder component and inside this component I'm gonna make a file to do dot JSX and uh, inside this component I'm gonna make another file to do dot CSS okay so let's link this CSS file to this to do dot JSX okay then after that uh, we have to import the file here import uh, you have to import the CSS file here. Okay, we have to write here to do dot CSS and uh, let's see if it is loading or not. So let's add a class here. Class name uh, text color and we're gonna style the CSS or uh, uh, we're gonna style it with the CSS. Okay, so let's copy this and we, I'm gonna give the color of red. So let's see. Okay, so first we have to render this. So this is our to do dot JSX file, and we have to call this here. Okay, so let's uh, remove this app, and uh, I'm gonna write here uh, to do. So it will automatically import that above. Okay, so here our CSS file is linked now properly because the color of this text is changed to this. Okay, so let's uh, start making and we're gonna make this UI first. Okay, so let's start the video. Okay, so after that, let's remove this, uh, this and all. Also, I'm gonna remove this. So let's add this fragment. And inside this fragment, I'm gonna write my whole UI layout. Okay, so uh, let's go here and I'm gonna H1. Here I'm gonna write uh, React to do app. And inside and for the H1, I'm gonna uh, style it here. Okay. I'm gonna enter the uh, class here text center okay so let's go here see okay so it is coming okay so now we have to make a main container and uh, this main container I'm gonna give a class name to do container okay so inside this container we're gonna have the two container okay so inside the container we're gonna have the two container so first one is for the search and the second one is for the list and then we're gonna add this clear all button okay so inside this to do container let's add a new container and i'm gonna give a class name to this input container okay 
when inside this to do container i'm going to enter a input field type text and placeholder enter your to do here okay so let's save this and uh, just so here it comes so let's also give a class name here for styling it i'm going to give the class name input field here okay and uh, okay so let's add a button of type submit and i'm going to write it here at plus okay so it will enter a to do and uh, for and for the button i'm going to also add a class submit btn okay then after the button up so we let's format the code okay the code is formatted now we have to add the uh, container for the list where our all the list will show okay so for adding the list we have to add another container and then let's give the class name list container and inside this i'm going to add a ul tag and inside this i'm going to add a li tag and uh, inside the li tag i'm going to add uh, another class name checkbox field and inside this i'm let's uh, write a input type checkbox we are writing input type checkbox we got for this okay and for this okay so input type equal to checkbox and uh, after that i'm going to give a span span tag where we're going to write our this to do text okay so let's write here first re video attack ich hoti hai okay so let's enter here first to do let's save this and okay so here it comes then after that um, okay so our after that we have to add a delete button also okay so inside the li tag after the checkbox field let's add another delete button and inside this i'm going to add a button delete and uh, okay so this is okay so let's go here and see okay so now okay so now what we have to do we have to add the clear all button okay so of so outside the, this list container outside this list container okay so one more thing we have to move this list container inside this to do container okay like this okay so just so this is the main container outside one and inside we have the two container uh, input container and the list container okay so, so then after the list container after the list container we have to add a, we have to add a container here div okay and for the div i am gonna write here clear btn okay and uh, inside this i'm going to add a button clear all and uh, for this button i'm going to give a class name clear all btn okay so this is done let's uh, 
save the code and go here okay so our this type of layout is ready now we have to add the css to make it beautiful so let's go to our to do dot css file and we're gonna write the css so before that we have to give the blue background also okay so for that we have to go to the index.css and from here we have to give the body color okay, let's go to the index.css and uh, here write body and uh, here I'm gonna give the background color let's add RGB 282864 and then display flex justify content center align item center height of 100 vh color of white okay let's refresh this okay so it is aligned in the center now we have to give one more thing let's go to star and uh, i'm gonna give the margin zero padding also zero and border box and box sizing box sizing border box okay so let's uh, okay so it is like this now we have to style our this okay so for styling this let's go to the to do css and uh, inside the to do css we're gonna write our CSS for the styles okay so first we're gonna style the to do dot container file to do dot to do container okay so the main container to do container so let's go here and to do okay so first we need this to do container and uh, give the background color background color white width of 800 pixel height of 80 vh border radius 20 pixel padding of 45 pixel margin 20 pixel and make it display flex justify content center align item center okay so justify content is pay let's keep it space between align item center and for the flex direction let's make it column and gap of 20 pixel let's save this okay so it is like that now we have to add the style for the text center the class which we have added here text center okay to make it center text center text align center font size 45 pixel let's save this okay so it is in the center properly now we have to give the style to the input container so we have to give the style to the input container okay so let's uh, go here input input container and here i'm gonna give the width of 100 percent display flex gap 20 pixel okay so it is like this now let's style the input field inside the input container width of 80 percent padding of 80 pixel font size 20 pixel background color alice blue border radius 20 pixel 
बॉर्डर टू पिक्सल सॉलिड आर आर जी बी वन नाइन्टी टू वन एट्टी वन एट्टी एंड आउटलाइन नन सो लेट सेव दिस एंड सी ओके सो वट टू डू इज लाइक दैट नाउ वी हैव टू स्टाइल द सबमिट बटन ओके सो लेट्स गो हियर एंड आई एम गन सबमिट बी टी एन पैडिंग ऑफ एटीन पिक्सल विथ ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड बैकग्राउंड कलर रेड कलर वाइट फॉन्ट साइज ऑफ ट्वेंटी पिक्सल एंड फॉन्ट वेट बोल्ड बॉर्डर नन बॉर्डर रेडियस ट्वेंटी पिक्सल कर्सर पॉइंटर ओके सो लेट्स रिफ्रेश सेव दिस ओके सो आवर फर्स्ट पार्ट इज रेडी नाउ वी हैव टू स्टाइल द लिस्ट कंटेनर ओके सो लेट्स गो हियर एंड वी गना स्टाइल द लिस्ट कंटेनर नाउ ओके सो फर्स्ट आई एम गना गिव अ स्टाइल फॉर द हॉवर इफेक्ट ऑल्सो सो लेट्स सबमिट बटन हॉवर एंड ऑन द हॉवर द बैकग्राउंड कलर शुड चेंज टू ब्लैक एंड कलर ऑफ द टेक्स शुड बी वाइट लेट्स गो यर एंड सी ओके सो दिस इज वर्किंग नाउ यू हैव टू स्टाइल द लिस्ट कंटेनर लेट्स टारगेट द लिस्ट कंटेनर एंड आई एम गन गिव द पैडिंग ऑफ थर्टी पिक्सल हाइट ऑफ हंड्रेड वी एच विथ हंड्रेड परसेंट बॉर्डर रेडियस ट्वेंटी पिक्सल कलर ब्लैक बॉक्स शेडो जीरो फोर पिक्सल एट पिक्सल कलर आर जी बी ए जीरो 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 एंड ऑपेसिटी वुड बी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ओके then overflow y we have to give scroll so it will be overflow in the vertical direction then give the display flex uh, flex direction column justify con justify content then justify content would be start okay and align item would be center so let's save this okay so it is like that now we have to style the list container ul ally tag list container ul ally here we have to give the list style type none display flex justify content uh, space between then you have to give the width of 100% align align item center font size of 25 pixel and gap of 20 pixel let's save this okay so it is looking like that Okay, so now we have to style the input field of the checkbox input field. Okay, so now we have to go here and let's target the list container ul li input, and here we have to give the type equal to checkbox, and after that height of twenty pixel. width of 20 pixel border 2 pixel solid red okay so okay so now we have to style the ul tag okay so let's go here 
list container ul display flex justify content center align item start select direction column width should be 100% and gap of 20 pixel let's save this and okay so it is not it is not like that this okay so now this container ul is done Now we have to style the checkbox field. Okay. Checkbox field display flex. Justify content center, align item center, gap of 10 pixel. Let's see here. Okay, so it will be in the proper center. Now similarly we have to now let's style the delete button okay for styling the delete button we have to copy D E L T button delete button and here I'm gonna write font size of 15 pixel background color red okay so just like that and after that we have to give the color white border none adding 8 pixel 12 pixel cursor pointer border radius 15 pixel let's go here okay so it is like we have to style this clear all button okay so for styling the clear all button we have to go to the below and first we have to add delete button hover effect okay so let's go here and uh, delete btn button then hover and here I'm gonna enter the background color black color white okay so let's save this okay so it is now black coming on the hover effect now we have to style the clear button so let's clear btn here we have to give the width 100 percent okay so now we have to add the clear button styles clear clear all btn background color black color white border none font size 15 pixel font weight bold with 100% border radius 10 pixel cursor pointer let's see ok so it has come here ok so now what we have to do we have to add the hover effect on this so clear all btn hover background color black color white let's go here okay so it is not working i think clear 
all beauty and hover okay so it is red okay ready okay so now it is working okay so now we have to increase some uh, font size of the list container of the h2 tag okay so let's go here list container and inside this we have the h2 tag then make it text line center and uh, we're gonna give the color red okay so this is for uh, this if I remove all this, it will show me this text. Okay, so this so this style is for the text which we're gonna add inside the HTML or the JSX. Okay, so now let's make it dynamic. Okay, so for making the dynamic, we have to add some classes here. Okay, so first uh, I have to. Okay, so first we have to go to the input tag, and uh, where okay so first we have to go to the here and here inside the input tag here input tag we have to add uh, two attribute the first attribute is uh, for the value and this value will take the input value which is our use state okay which we gonna add it above and on change when when the input field is changed it will go to a function handle input change okay so let's format this okay so when i go here it will give me the error okay so no error is coming okay so input value and in on change it will go to the that okay and also for the button uh, let's give a on click function and on on click it will go to the handle add to do okay handle add to do okay so let's add these two classes above okay so first we have to define the use state for this so let's uh, go to this to do and here I am gonna add it use state for the to do's and then we're gonna add the set to do's then we're gonna write the use state and this and this will be null array okay so we're gonna uh, we're gonna save all my to do's here in uh, inside this array now we're gonna add another use state and this is for the input value then set input value and this is also a use state and uh, this will store our input value fields okay the input value fields which we are entering here the input field okay it will be stored there okay, so now we have to add to function here const input value and const handle add okay so let's first add this function so let's make a variable const and here handle add to do so this is an arrow function let's make the arrow function here and uh, so now we have to check if the value is already there input dot trim not equal to to empty if input value dot trim is is not equal to empty then we have to set the to do's okay okay then uh, we have to pass here the text input value and we also gonna pass this comp completed false 
okay then we gonna write the set input value here empty okay when when it will be stored in the array so our set input value will be empty okay so now we have to uh, we have to and add this function for the input field okay so const we're gonna again use the arrow function here and inside this i'm gonna store the e value which will be come from the form and inside the set input value we have to write e dot target dot value so it will be so the value of the input field which is entered by the user will be stored inside this and this is a use state okay so it will be stored here okay so every time the user will enter the new field will be stored there okay so now okay, so after that uh, okay so now we have to so let me check if our all to do's are stored there or not Okay, so after that, okay, so let me do one thing. We're gonna so let's add, let's store the ul and li tag first. Okay, so inside the here li container to do this, let's check the to do's dot length equal to equal to zero. If it is equal to equal to zero, then we're gonna show the as to tag here right now you don't have any to do's okay and if it is not then we're gonna copy this whole ul tag inside this okay, so if i go here and add our to do will be added here okay so right now it is showing the first to do okay so for that uh, what we have to do we have to replace this here and we have to write here to do dot text the text is coming from here which we are saving in this input value okay so if i go to here and uh, refresh this okay so it so our all to do will go here okay so right now we have done this and this is also scroll so now we have to add this function so okay so for adding this uh, we have to uh, let's uh, add the let's add this the line which is come when i add something like here let's add and the line which is coming here okay so for adding that we have to go to the let's add a style here okay so for adding the style we have to we have to go to this button the span tag the span tag which is storing the to do text okay so inside uh, the span tag you have to give the style and here i'm going to use the text text decoration to do dot completed if it is if, uh, if it is uh, completed and uh, this is and uh, this will comes from here completed equal to false or true okay so text decoration to do completed so it will give the line line through or it will give the none
okay so this is coming because uh, we have to enter here here please be very checked set equal to to do dot completed and also we have to give a style here okay so not style we have to give a function on change this will be the arrow function and it will on handle toggle toggle complete and it will take the index so let's see why it is coming like that Okay, so I think this is because of this. Okay. Okay, so now it is working fine. If I click here, it is not triggering because we don't have integrated the function yet. Okay, so for integrating the function, let's add this handle toggle function. Handle toggle complete. For that, uh, we have to go here and guide this. And let's use the arrow function again like this. Okay, so let's write here. So it will take the index value. So it will take the index value. It will take the handle toggle complete cons update to do so cons updated to do so inside this we have to take all the to do's and updated to do's index dot completed equal to not equal to updated to do's index dot completed okay then we're gonna set the to do's to the new to do updated to do's okay let's go here so let me check why this is not working okay so here we have the spelling mistake this is up let's refresh this and let's check okay so now this is working okay so now next step is that we have to make our delete button working and also the clear all button okay so let's go and uh, make the delete button working for this uh, I'm gonna add a on click function here so when someone click on the delete button it will trigger a function which will delete the to do okay so in on click you have to add a arrow function here and uh, you have to add a arrow function 
एच ई एन डी एल ई हैंडल डिलीट टू डू एंड इट विल टेक द इंडेक्स टू डू विच वी हैव टू डिलीट नाउ लेट्स गो टू द टॉप एंड हियर यू कैन एड एरो फंक्शन एड एरो फंक्शन हियर ओके सो दिस विल टेक द इंडेक्स सो लेट्स गो हियर एंड राइट द इंडेक्स ओके सो दिस विल टेक द इंडेक्स एंड ओके सो लेट राइट हियर अपडेटेड टू डूज टू डूज डॉट फिल्टर take the i and it will not be equal to index okay so here we have to add one more bracket okay let add this and we have to set the to dos set to dos with the lay this one let's format this let's see if the delete button is working okay so it so it is working okay so the next so the last step is we have to make the clear button working okay so for making the clear button working we have to add function here clear all so let's go to button and here we gonna add a on click function which is again a call back function and here i'm gonna enter the clear all okay so let's add the to do here cons clear all this is again a arrow function and inside this uh, uh, inside the set to dos we going to make it empty so it will clear all the to dos from the after after cl after clicking the clear uh, button if i click here okay and we also are getting the text okay so now the final step is left uh, when i refresh this to do app it will okay so let's add something okay so if i refresh this it will be gone because it is not storing in the local storage okay so for storing that all the to dos in the local storage and after that we gonna fetch it from the local storage so for storing it in the local storage we have to add a use effect which will store all the to dos in the local storage okay so for that we have to go to the below and here i am going to use the use effect hook and inside the use effect hook let's see if it is imported okay so it is imported at the top then we have to make a variable cons stored to dos okay so it will a uh, variable then we going to write the json dot parse json dot parse okay so let me go here okay so for this uh, let me use the set timer function okay so let me show you one more thing okay so for storing the local storage you have to write local storage dot set item and inside this we have to write to dos then json dot stringify to dos so it will store all the to dos in the json format and uh, okay and uh, after that we have to give to dos here let's see if it is storing in the local storage or not let's format it okay so let me add some to do here 
and if I okay let's add here and if I go to the inspect option and from the inspect we have to go to the application and from the application we have to go to the local storage okay so you can see that right now we have this to do they are storing the local storage if I refresh the all the to do will go on because we have to fetch it from the local storage now okay so for fetching it I am again gonna use the use effect and from here I am gonna write a variable const stored to do's json dot parse so it will parse all the to do's from the local storage get item to do's to do's okay to do's or empty array okay okay so now we have to go to the set to do's option and here we have to uh, write st okay. sto red store to do so it will uh, set all the to do's here okay let's uh, go here and we're gonna give the break array here so it will be only fetch one time otherwise it will go in a while loop in a continuous loop okay so now we have to add a site timeout function here set timeout of uh, 100 second of 100 second delay okay so inside this set timeout function this is a callback function and uh, we have to uh, place our local storage inside the set timeout function and here I am give the timeout of 100 milliseconds okay of 100 milliseconds so let's uh, add some to do again and see if it is fetching from the database or, or from the local storage if I refresh so you can see that our all the to do's are staying here okay so in this way you can uh, save your data to the local storage and also you can fetch your data from here okay so now our react to do app is completed and uh, this is totally working you can also do the complete one and also you can delete it from here okay so if you like our video subscribe to the channel like share our videos with your friends and i'm gonna see you next time